Just briefly checking in on my lunch break. I've had a bit of a crazy morning because we had to drive back from the countryside or well I had to drive us, me and the kids back from our evacuation. We went out to our Baobang which is like a huge privilege. We have that space that's our home and it felt so good to actually go to a forest and have some snowy time and you'll see all of that in the Adventism or you would have seen today is day 13 of Vlogmas and I can't yet really talk about all the evacuation because maybe you can tell I'm on my lunch break <clears throat> on the balcony um, 
of the wool shop that I work in on Mondays. So I, yeah, I will save that for tomorrow. I'll definitely tell you all about it. And I thought it was so kind of you, Jacqueline, to ask about, you know, cause it is quite exceptional to ask, like if I could just kind of tell you all the ins and outs and I'm happy to do that. I'll report tomorrow, day 14. Today, I'm just like, oh, I'm taking a breather. Cause it was like motorway for an hour, then really awful kind of, um, morning traffic to get into the city um, it was very wet and maybe my child filmed out of the window I'll see if he shares his content with me um, yeah and it was you know I was kind of tense so I quickly had a shower and a bath because I smelled like I tended to a fire all night which is literally what I did I had to get up at 2 and at 4 to feed our fire because otherwise it would have been a bit too damp and cold to wake up in the Baobang. I mean, it's so good we have the fire and I do enjoy fire making and fire tending. I take that very seriously and I enjoy it, but I'm obviously a bit tired. I quickly jumped into the shower when I got to Berlin, dropped the kids off and then I rushed to work and I was here half an hour later than usual but it was all arranged. I still feel a bit bad about it because I know the days are busy but there was no other way. <sighs> yes. And now I've just knitted a row of Habitation Throw by A Curious Handmaid and um, so this is the 12th row. Um, I think I forgot parcel number 13 in the Baowang, so I can't do it, but I'm just so excited. Also, check out row 11. I just love that. It's like plant dyed gold um, embroidery thread with a sock yarn from my own stash, and I think it's so pretty in the daylight. I've only really seen it like in kind of gloomy situations, so I'm really chuffed with that. And I'm knitting this during Stash Rent, which is the swap that I organized through the podcast. And this year, Frauke sent me um, Stash Treats. Uh, she's uh, based in Denmark, so I'm getting all these Danish treats. And currently I'm knitting one of my favorite yarns, uh, which is Let Lopi by Istex, an Icelandic yarn. Just check those colors.
So just a quick evening check-in because I haven't really talked at the camera today. Um, I thought maybe it's fun because it's halfway now for the stash went that I kind of share a little bit more about the knitting project and it'll just be today's thing that we think about and speak about the habitation throw. I've just about finished day 12 and it's really nice all the colors are very different um this is lopi as well as this um rusty colored and uh, there's lots of plant-eyed goodies Frauke sent for me there's some wula pick which is amazing and some yarns that Frauke actually dyed herself so i'm very excited it doesn't really fit on the needle anymore so it's already growing and the design works for 24 mini skeins and you probably notice that there's kind of smaller stripes here so I've got quite a lot of leftovers from these colors so they can happen again later on because the habitation throws actually like a, a square so I can continue doing that or I can cast off and just have a triangular shawl and then think about what else to do with the yarny leftovers. I've got lots of ideas from our group because there's so many cool projects for mini skins. So I'm very, yeah, I'm very happy that I'm not actually using it all up. Although the lopi, I think I've almost used up and this blue uh, indigo dyed yarn is almost used up. Um, yeah, that's kind of a knitterly check-in. Um, I think I did leave the 13th parcel out uh, in the countryside so I will have to unwrap that around New Year's Eve by the looks of it. I'm gonna double check my bags again and yeah I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, we're just about like gonna have dinner soon and then I will edit and then yeah more stuff following later. I hope you have a good evening. Bye!